Well, the PDP has chosen to brazen it out, indicating that the praise for Pakistan, Hurriyat and militants for allowing peaceful elections in the state was a more a strategic move rather than a faux pas. I want to go straight across the headlines today's managing editor, Rahul Kamal, who's just got that exclusive interview with Mehbooba Mufti that you just heard played out right here on headlines today. Uh, Rahul, both father and daughter appearing to brazen it out completely, not allowing even momentarily that this could have been a faux pas or, you know, better expressed. They've thought this through deeply, Shiv. Look at how this is playing out in the Kashmir Valley. Don't worry so much for a moment about what's happening in the rest of the country, what yeah. happened in Parliament. They're looking at what's happening in the Kashmir Valley. There were huge concerns in the Kashmir Valley. The Muftis had sold out to the BJP. That the Muftis had agreed for compromises on AFPA. That the Muftis uh, were sleeping with the enemy. That's the fear in the Kashmir Valley. Right now, the Assembly is in Jammu, so everyone's in Jammu, but that's the sense in the Kashmir Valley. In these two comments, the original comment by Mufti Saeed at his first press conference yesterday and his defense of his comment, his daughter coming out and backing that statement in the interview we did uh, for headlines today saying that uh, Huryat was low-key, they didn't campaign door-to-door, -door. Pakistan didn't escalate tensions. They're saying that this is a strategic statement. This is not a faux pas, this is not a mistake. He thought this through because he thinks that, remember, Umar Abdullah has been taking one pot shot after another at the Muftis. Uh, this is the attempt being made by the PDP to tell its core constituents in the valley uh, that uh, we're still with you, we haven't forgotten you, our sympathies, our cause is still on your side. That's the message that's being sent. And on the other side, I tried to catch several of the BJP ministers, yeah. including those who are known to have very firm views on secessionism, on, on uh, the separatists, on the Hurriyats, on Pakistan. I tried to ask them after this cabinet meeting got over, a short while before now, what they had to say about Mehbubas, uh, about Mufti's comments, and they've all been asked to stay low. They've been asked not to open them out. They've been asked to ensure that there's no trouble. BJP being very magnanimous. They put out that statement at the center, but here in the state, they realize that there will be such teething trouble. They need to deal with This is not what you expect from a BJP usually, but right now they're being very low-key. They're taking it in their stride. Absolutely. They're taking it in their stride. Uh, 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 you know, a, a simple question that a lot of people will be asking at this time, uh, Rahul, you know, given the outrage happening here in the national capital, as well as, you know, expectations there in the Kashmir Valley. Is this something that's going to blow over quickly or could this actually intensify? Well, it would have depended on how the Mufti reacted today. Uh, in his comment, he's sticking to what he said yesterday. His daughter is coming out and taking it even further, yeah. saying that the Mufti was absolutely right. Now, uh, the only way to my mind, now we've spent a couple of days over here now, and to my mind, the only way that this alliance can stay out of trouble is if they somehow put a diktat out that no minister, no MLA speaks. Because the moment they speak, they will speak a voice which yeah. is the opposite of what their ally will want to hear. And they can, there's, a, there's literally a landmine at every turn. Yeah. Unless they can somehow get their ministers and their MLAs to zip up, focus on governance, focus on development. The mo and that's what Mehbooba said in that interview, that you media guys are creating trouble for us, which is not true. There was a press conference, she made a comment, and of course there'll be reactions to that. But this really is an alliance fraught with contradictions, and these contradictions are so deep that the BJP MLA right. or minister cannot but say uh, the exact opposite of what the PDP would like to hear. And in that case, right. trying to make this happen is going to be that much more of a tough task. It can only happen if they focus only on governance. The more posturing takes place, the more uh, we hear these comments, the more there'll be trouble. Which, which Rahul, I'm going to take as your way of saying that expect much more trouble in the days ahead because expecting mantris, ministers and leaders not to talk is perhaps next to the impossible. Rahul.